What's up, y'all? Mr. Eddie here. I'm back with another video. So today I want to go over my pist I mean, uh, my connecting rods. So here on the left we have the stock uh, S3 connecting rod. I still have the bearing in there, um, somewhat torqued down. But one thing I want to go over first is the bushing on where the piston pin goes. You can see there's two V grooves in there where the oil lubricates and travels through. And then I still got the stock uh, bearing, stock connecting rod bolts. Pretty, pretty simple. I beam. And these beauties are Luanati's Pro Series Forged. They're rated up to 1100 horsepower. And I don't have the bearing in here. I was checking some clearances earlier. But um, as you can see, the bushing is a little bit different as in, as in how it gets its oil. It's just through this top hole here. And obviously the side to side. The rod bolts, as you can see, ARP's 2000 is a whole lot bigger than the stock stuff. So this ain't separating anytime soon. And as far as in weight, just like all my other stuff, as far as in pistons, all my forge stuff that I got is actually a tad bit lighter, which is good. It was kind of what I was aiming for. So here we have the stock ones, still have the bearings in there. We weigh about six, yeah, 685 and I don't have the bearings in here but I do have the rod bearings so I'll just put them on here on the scale and we can see compared to 685 we have 665 so a whole 20 grams lighter which it ain't much but when it comes terms to balancing every bit of it matters so just for example difference of 20 grams this, this bearing half of this uh, rod bearing weighs 22 so That'll kind of tell you how much lighter it weighs. So it might not seem like much, but in terms of balancing the crank to the rotating assembly, it is. <clears throat> I almost forgot one thing. As in terms of uh, the dimensions or material, I guess, because this almost looks slimmer, which it is, but it does have a little bit more material in areas you'd want it to. So I'm going to try my best here to line it up so you can see that. So if I try to get this somewhat centered, you can see down towards the big end, you can see where the material here down towards the sides is a bit uh, thicker, where they added some more. So I thought that was pretty, pretty interesting. And then of course the top looks thicker on the stock one on the sides here, and it gets skinnier towards the top. And this one initially looks skinny, or if not skinnier than this one. But when you line these two up, I forgot that up here towards the middle of the connecting rod is actually thicker. Then it just kind of tapers as it goes down. But I would say it's about the same thickness, if not more. But yeah, that, that pretty much sums it up. I believe the sides as well are also a bit thinner on the forged one. But then again, they are forged, so... I have a lot of faith. I love, I love the way this looks, by the way. See, and that's my main reason for getting an I-beam is for the looks. But for lack of a better explanation also, I got I-beams just on the simple fact of whatever engineering aspect benefited from having I-beams, that's why I chose I-beams. Because don't get me wrong, H-beams... They're fine, they're cheaper, but I guess if it really comes down to being honest with myself, I got them because they just aesthetically look better. I mean, they're beauties. But yeah, that pretty much sums it up for this video. I just wanted to go over it real quick. <clears throat> Next, I'll talk about my, uh, my crankshaft and compare that to my stock. And then from there, I may talk and go into um, clearances since here anytime soon, my ARP hardware being my head bolts and main cap bolts or studs rather, sorry, should get here. And then that way I can send everything to the machine shop. 
So stay tuned.